everyone my name is Zanaga and I'm part of the data science discovery staff and in this video today we will be doing a question on getting the first 10 rows of a data frame so let's go ahead and get started so it says here many times as data scientists it's useful to view the first 10 rows of the data set being analyzed right and so we write a Python program that first reads the gpa.csv data set into the variable df and then displays the first 10 rows of gpa.csv so let's go ahead and do that here I have my uh, Python environment, which I can, you know, write any code. And it says your code goes here. So before writing any code, you know, good practice is to write comments that basically explain what your code does, right? So maybe in line five, <coughs> I want to write a comment um, that, well, pandas is already imported. So we can say maybe define our data frame. And we can say read in plus define our data frame. So I want to use df equals uh, pd dot read csv, and looks like that data set is called gpa dot csv. And without doing anything else, let's go ahead and print out our or output our df so we can see what it looks like. So here we can see um, the first five as well as the last five rows in our entire data frame. And this makes sense because this is the uh, GPA data set. So it contains data on, you know, basically all of the courses in a specific um, year as well as the term. So we need to print out or we need to display the first 10 rows of our GPA CSV data set. So here we can do um, df equals pd.readcsv gpa.csv and then if we do df.head10 that's basically the code for uh, displaying the first n rows of our data set. But first I just want to write a comment kind of explaining what I'm saying. Let's say display first 10 rows. Um, and df.head10 will display the first 10 rows. So in general, this function uh, df.head displays however many rows you want. And the number of rows is one of the um, parameters of our function. So it's like a value that you pass into the function uh, for it to display that many rows. So right here, I want to display 10 rows. So I just need to pass 10. That's the argument here. Um, and then when I run my code, now I can see that the first 10 rows of my GPA data set get displayed. And some people might say, oh, like the you know row index is 9. I, I thought I displayed the first 10 rows. Well, in Python, remember that the index always starts at 0. So you're actually displaying 10 rows. Um, but the, the last index is just 9, just because we uh, it's like everything is 0 indexed. So if I wanted to display the first 15 rows, I just need to change this uh, argument to 15, and we have the first 15 rows. Now, let's say instead of the first, let's go back to 10. Let's say instead of the first 10 rows, you wanted the last 10 rows. Well, instead of using df.head, you can just do df.tail, and that would print out the last 10 rows. As you can see, uh, the last 10 rows of our GPA data set. But in this question, it just asks us for the first 10. So I'm just going to go back. And uh, we have the proper display here. And then when we submit, of course, we pass all the tests. That is expected because we use the proper function to display the first 10 rows. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.